Hi everyone! Welcome to episode 57 of the So Not Scary series. In today's episode, we're going to talk a little bit about the mini sewing machine thread settings or thread tension settings. And I'm going to show you a quick hack that I've just discovered on how you can check the tension settings on your machine really quickly, really easily, and fix it if it's out of sync. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I like to call this trick that I've just come up with the square method of setting the thread tension on your mini sewing machine. And here's how we're gonna do it. So in front of you, you can see two mini sewing machines. This one, as you know, is my older one that I bought in October 2019. Um, and um, I really like this machine. It's never given me any problems. And then this is the new one that I bought just a few months ago for you guys. So I can open it up and experiment about upon it and kind of use it like a lab rat, if that makes sense. So this method that I'm about to show you works on both these machines or any other sewing machine for that matter. So this is what we're gonna do for the square method. Here I've got a piece of scrap fabric. It's like an old curtain that I've cut up and just folded over a piece of its fabric in half. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a square or we're going to sew a square shape with our sewing machine. Okay, so since most of you have got this kind of like a generic mini sewing machine, that's the one I'm going to use today to show you how we're going to do this trick, okay? So I folded my fabric over in half and I'm going to put it underneath the presser fit and just sew a simple square shape, okay? So every time I want to turn a corner, I'm going to leave the needle inside the fabric and then swivel the project by 90 degrees and continue to sew, okay? I've got a purple top thread and a white bobbin thread. So let's go ahead and get started. So I've moved forward a few stitches. Now I'm going to lift the presser foot, swivel by 90 degrees, lower the presser foot and continue to sew. Lift, swivel, lower, repeat. Lift, swivel, lower, repeat. That's it, our square is done. Let's check it out. Okay, so here's the square that we just stitched, okay? And here's a purple top thread and it looks beautiful, nice and crisp, nice corners here. Now let's flip it over. Ah, now, what do you see? I can see that even though the sides of the square look pretty good, look at the corners. So we're not seeing any sharp corners. Instead, what I see is a lot of loopy purple thread coming over onto the wrong side instead of the white thread making a nice sharp corner. That tells me that the purple thread is too loose. That's why it's coming over to this side from the top, okay? So what we need to do is tighten the top thread. Let's do that. Okay, so here's the uh, thread tension adjuster and we're going to tighten it like that, okay? And now let's sew another square. Okay, so let's take a look at square number two. I've just written down the numbers with a pen so we know which square we're talking about. So again, on the top, it looks pretty good. Nice sharp corners. Let's flip it over. And again, as with square number one, the corners are still not nice and sharp, okay? Even though I think there is an improvement because we tightened it. So if you compare this corner with these corners, okay, and this one with this one again, these guys, okay? It's better, but not perfect. So let's continue to tighten the top thread tension controller. So now let's look at the third square. Again, the top looks pretty good, just like the top of number two and number one. But now let's look at the back. Now, I think you guys can see the corners are definitely improving and there's an improvement compared to number two, compared to number one. Okay, so two is better than one and three is better than two. So let's tighten the top thread a little bit more. I think we just need to adjust it a little bit more and we should be done.
Okay, so my square grid is now complete and I actually kept pushing myself and kept pushing and tightening the uh, thread tension knob to see how far we can take this experiment. Okay, so starting from square number one, I kept tightening the thread tension knob, okay? Little iterations uh, every time. And I think my favorite square, the favorite setting is for square number seven, okay? Because it's got lovely, nice, uh, sharp corners, okay? And the line of stitching is also sitting really, really well with minimal top thread showing onto the other side. And then from seven to eight, I tightened the top thread a little bit more just to see what's gonna happen. And I did not see much of a difference between how well the stitches are sitting, okay? And if anything, the top thread started to feel like it's getting a bit too tight, a bit uncomfortable as I'm removing the project from underneath the presser fit, okay? So number seven, uh, I feel is the best setting for my mini sewing machine, okay? So as you can see, if you compare squares number one and the corners, okay, that it made, compared to square number seven, and the corners it made, okay, you will be able to see a stark and a very distinct difference, okay? And the square method works because when you turn a sharp corner like that, okay, your machine cannot disguise the thread tension settings, okay? In a straight stitch, the tension point setting and how tight or how loose the thread is, that can be disguised. And it can be tricky to see whether the thread tension setting is okay or not. But when you're tur turning tight or sharp corners like these, okay, it's impossible to conceal that. One thread or the other, if it's loose or tight compared to the other, is going to reveal itself when you turn a corner just like the top purple thread revealed itself here as being too loose okay again too loose still too loose still too loose keep tightening getting better got even better okay and then i think number seven was the best okay so that is the square method of setting the thread tension on your mini sewing machine i hope you guys found today's insights useful and that it gave you an alternative way of checking the thread tension on your mini sewing machine. Whether you've got this one or that one, the same principle applies. Whenever you turn a sharp corner, if your thread tension is out of sync, it's going to reveal itself, okay? And you can use it on any sewing machine, okay? Using any kind of thread. Just try and use a mismatched thread so you know exactly which thread needs to be adjusted and how, okay? If you know any sewists whom you think might find this useful, please do share this video and spread the knowledge, okay? Um, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!